why do I look like I'm in a different spot and why do I look like I'm not wearing a hat? Well, the second one, I'm actually not wearing my hat because I forgot it because I am in Future Florkerta Office, y'all. Future Florkerta TV Office. Let's go. I am in Georgia right now visiting my brother who is coincidentally at work and I'm pretty sure I'm going to move here in like a week. Probably less, but probably about a week. But while I'm here, let me tell you why Black Ops 1 is the best Call of Duty game. This is the intro, bitch. So just watch my shit. That's right. I think Call of Duty Black Ops 1 is the best Call of Duty game out there. You want to fight me on this? I will fuck you up. I think it's the best Call of Duty game because A, they're making a Call of Duty universe and obviously that one game is one big universe, of course. And two, they're choosing that game to be their, their adaptation for the first fucking movie. Why am I still holding this hammer? Also, Sam Worthington is awesome. I am actually one of the like three Sam Worthington fans out there. I don't care if he's kind of a shitty actor. I like him. He just gets shit done. Spoiler warning for Black Ops 1 and probably a bit of Black Ops 2. I'm not sure yet, but if those... Thing, if those spoilers for Black Ops 2 come in, I will tell you spoiler alert for Black Ops 2, but definitely spoiler alert for Black Ops 1. <laughs> so Call of Duty Black Ops 1 came out in 2010, I'd like to say, but it was a game like we had never seen before. I mean, yes, it is a bit generic like all Call of Duty games are, but back then, Call of Duty hadn't gone into the stupid shit downward spiral that it's in right now. I mean, yeah, one or two games in the past five years have been awesome. Like, I, I actually like Call of Duty Ghosts. That's another movie I want them to make. Call of Duty Ghosts is actually cool in my opinion. But, like, Black Ops 3 sucks dick. Infinite Warfare sucks dick, even though they have Nazi Jon Snow in space. But, yeah, Black Ops 1 is, like, the epitome of awesome Black Ops. Or any Call of Duty, for that matter. I'm going to say Black Ops a little too fucking much. But what is this game about? Okay, here we go. Black Ops 1 starts out, Alex Mason is tied to a chair, and they're asking him about the numbers. They want to know where the broadcast station is. And he is being the military man, he's like, you kiss my ass, you can go fuck yourself, eat my dick. You know, he, he's a military man, he's trained for that shit. You get tortured, no one breaks, black don't crack. Even though he's white. Camo don't go emo. Best I can come up with on such short notice. They're like, hey, where'd you go? Who's this guy? What happened there? And they go back in time and he goes to kill Fidel Castro but ends up to kill the double. Then he ends up in a fucking gulag prison called Warkuda where he meets my boy, Victor Reznov. And in all honesty, in the movie, I only want one person to play Reznov. I want Gary Oldman to play Victor Reznov. I don't know why, but I swear that man is Gary fucking Oldman. I swear to God, they must have based the look of Oldman on him. There is like no way in hell they did not think be Gary Oldman when they made that guy. Swear to Christ, Gary fucking Oldman. And the person to play Mason, I want that to be obviously the guy that plays him in the fucking game is Sam Worthington. But they go back in time through flashbacks and he gets out of the prison and then he's like fucking brainwashed. In that prison, they brainwashed him to kill the president. Like you go to the fucking Pentagon in the flashback and it looks like you're pointing a gun at JFK. Now first off, you're in the in the presence of one of the most influential presidents of all time, John F. Kennedy. That man, I don't know if you know anything about history, but John F. Kennedy is like a big deal. He is fucking amazing. Yeah, it looks like you point a gun at him. And also, at the end of the game, one of the cool things that they do is when you see the um, when you see John F. Kennedy again at, at one point in the game. On the screen, when you're tied to the chair, the screen's in front of you, you see, like, pictures of Lee Harvey Oswald, and you see pictures of his funeral, and you see a video of the, the, uh, car ride through Texas where he lost half his face. That is some in-depth shit that you just don't expect from a Call of Duty game anymore. I don't even expect that shit from a Call of Duty game anymore. Mason was brainwashed in Horkuda. It is crazy. And like the guy in Lost, he keeps seeing numbers. He keeps hearing the numbers in his head because they brainwashed him to, to, to be a sleeper agent. And when you say these numbers, when you broadcast these numbers in this specific order, he goes out and kills people that are on this list. But Viktor Reznov, being the smart Russian man that he is in the Gulag, reprogrammed all that shit to follow out a vengeance mission that Viktor Reznov has of his own. 
So it reprogrammed his brain when he's in the presence of these people when he hears these numbers to follow out Victor Reznov's mission as Victor Reznov. But you don't figure that shit out until the very, like, the, like the second or third to last mission you... You go through a building as Mace, and you start pointing a gun at a dude, and you he, you see Victor Reznov um, point point the gun at the guy, and he's like, oh, "I'm Victor Reznov, I have my revenge!" Bam, and he kills him. My name is Victor Reznov, and I will have my revenge. And then a spark of light flashes and then you go to 15 minutes earlier and you're Jason Hudson who's a CIA handler of Mason and you go through that same exact mission you see all the dead bodies and you hear others screaming you hear just Mason going on a fucking rampage and then you go for the perspective of the other guys and inside the room where Mason is where you and you thought that Reznov is in, there is no Reznov. Reznov died in Vorkuta. You see Mason pointing the gun at the dude. He's like, I am Victor Reznov. I'll have my revenge. Bam. My name is Victor Reznov. And I will have my revenge. Mason, no. He was programmed by Reznov to be Reznov. Like you, you thought the whole time. The whole fucking time that Victor Reznov was there with him in Vietnam, in Vorkuta, in Russia, in Germany, in America, all these points that you saw Reznov, he was never really there. And if you play through the game again, like I recently did, the people who interact with Mason and Reznov, like when Reznov is there, they don't actually see Reznov. They don't interact with him at all. Like Mason at one point tells Woods, like, oh, hey, Woods, this is Reznov, Reznov Woods. And Reznov's like, oh, Woods, I don't know, I don't know. And then Woods is like, uh, yeah, cool. Like, he's like, oh, yeah, cool, you're fucking insane the fucking head, but what the fuck? Also, at one point, you're in a fucking foxhole in Vietnam being chased by communist bastards and fucking chink pigs, and you get, you get, uh, in this little adjacent, like, hallway thing, and you see Reznov in front of you, and then you turn back to the other guy, and he's like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Like, like, you were talking to no one. Now, in my honest opinion, if I were a military man, which I'm not, because I have bipolar disorder and Asperger's syndrome, I have a lot of fucking fucked up shit in my head. I'm also all diabetic now. If I were a military man and I saw someone talking to no one, I'd be like, maybe we should put you in a padded cell. But it's Vietnam, and we needed every man we could to fight that war, so whatever the fuck. They let him stay. But holy shit, that game, I swear to God, is like the best game and then what also the interrogators want to get inside Mason's head because they're on the brink of war world war three is about to break out and they need the information that's in mason's head right now so they can stop war this game is honestly one of the best games that i have ever played like i bought i bought it like three times in my life i bought it for the xbox 360 when it first came out i bought it for my pc when i had a shitty pc i bought like a disc copy and it was like it was like two dollars at a thrift store so i didn't mind that much but i also bought it on steam at full price of 30 fucking dollars right now if you get that game on xbox i think it's still at 30 bucks because that fourth one's coming out and they're wanting to hype up all the new ones so that you want to play the old ones. So they jack that price up. It's the economy. It's how this shit works, people. But honest to God, this Call of Duty game, or this Call of Duty movie that's coming out, the Black Ops film, I am stoked for it. I mean, there's no trailer as of yet. There's no release date as of yet. They're thinking like 2020, 2019, somewhere in that general area. So it's soon, but we have like nothing. I mean, they're probably going to postpone it. And it might not actually happen. That's the sad truth there. But I know Sam Worthington is attached to it because he's simultaneously filming the Avatar movies right now. And he's also talking with Activision at, and who are adjacent to a film studio talking about that shit. But as far as casting goes, I want Sam Worthington to come back. I want Victor Reznov to be played by Gary Oldman. I want Woods to be played by Chris Pratt. Now, hold off on this. Just give me a, give me a moment here. Before you throw shade in my face, Chris Pratt, but like grunge him up. Like for real, just just make him like a Harrison Ford ripoff for Hudson, because Hudson's a very important part of those games too. He is the one person that I, I can't nail down. Maybe The Rock, or maybe Dominic Toretto if he actually learns to enunciate his words and not talk in mumble growls. But like you need to put the aviators on him. You, you need to go full, full, full Hudson. I mean, Hudson looks fucking awesome. 
I'm not gonna lie here. All in all, I love Black Ops 1. If you haven't played Black Ops 1, do it. It's like five or ten bucks on Steam right now. Like as of this moment for about two weeks, it is like ten bucks on Steam. Get it, play it, love it. You will not regret it. And I will say that Call of Duty Black Ops 1 from 2010, so long ago, is fucktastic. YouTube, you know what I update regularly? Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go on there, type in for Lakota TV, boom, you got me. What should I review next? Game movie or show? Let me know in the comments below. Y'all got floored.